What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBangers.com. Welcome to another video. As you can see on the screen, we have uh, Arcade by Output. This video, um, I'm just touching on, on Arcade. They recently released a new update and they allowed us to have it as a standalone version. So, as you can see, I don't have any DAW opened up. What I do have is my um, my NPC live, which you can't see right now because I I'm having some difficulties with the program software that I'm using to actually screen capture. Oh, output arcade. Um, browse. This is the brand new setup that we got. We have the feed. Uh, it looks something like this when you open it up for the first time. Um, introducing crate. I think this is new. I didn't see this the last time I had uh, actually opened it, so I think that's new. Um, so what did they add? They added um, automatic key detection when and automatic BPM detection when you're actually dragging in new audio into um, into here, right? They also gave us this little cool newest kits. So these are the new kits that just came in. And then, you know, whatever else you got going on, they have that there. And then they have the original setup, which is lines. So, yeah, so this crate is brand new. Um, I got to test that out. Um, I might test it out here. I don't know what's up, what it's about, so we could test that. Uh, you have the kits, then you got the loops, then you got kits you saved. Um, this is good that this is here because I could just open this rather than trying to show you guys the whole thing again. So it's good that that's there. So let's start here. Let's load this. So I just load it. I want to go to it. Let's play. All right. So so these are actually samples that I dropped in here myself. Um, I started with samples that came from Loop Pack. Uh, volume three, Blue Pack Sunday, Volume three from MG, the Future, and Craftmaster Productions. They have the BPM and the uh, the actual key signature written in the file. So when I drag this in here, when you drag something in, it'll show you. Um, it'll show you right here. It'll be in green, like, like stoplight green, and then you'll see it, and then you can come in here and edit it if you know exactly what it is, if it doesn't auto-detect it. Um, as you can see, the BPM is actually auto-detected. Um, so that was a cool point, because the NPC still don't have auto key detect which is to me is is like it makes no sense and this is pretty accurate it gives you the um the major and the minor the relative major to the relative minor which is cool um i got another one here which is the same key which is not it right so c relative right all right so this one was completely different this was in the scale of dorian um, CMP put it in Dorian. As you can see, the BPM right here is 137. You could change it if you want to. Um, the time signature is 44, and then it's E flat major relative C minor. So, so on a on a keyboard, on a keybed, right? It'd be C, D, E, F, G, right? G sharp. 
Right? A, B, C. So I'm not, you know, I'm not classically trained enough for like that. So I don't really know how they're coming up with the whole C minor is the relative to, to E flat major. But um, it's C, D, E, F, G. And it's saying E flat is... G sharp. All right, that's a little confusing. So don't quote me. I don't want to misguide you or mislead you guys with with um invalid information, fake news. I'm not that guy. But it do auto detect it as what it is. So that was a cool point for me. I you know I really dig that that it actually did that. Um, you can tune it to whatever you want to tune it to. Uh, you can you can s speed it up two times, one times. You can half the speed. You can quarter the speed. Uh, and it's just a real cool little thing to to do because then you can you could use the arcade system to manipulate your samples, such as me as a content creator for YouTube. I get. Um, copyright strikes often because I sample a lot um, especially on the YouTube platform because that's what I do you know sample school Sundays I haven't done one of those in a minute and one of the main reasons why I haven't done it is because I be getting copyright strikes on the sampling so sam it defeats the purpose really so um, this is a cool way to, to, to manipulate the samples before going into your DAW or your, uh, for me, it'd be the MPC Live. So, for instance, I want to show you guys the MPC Live, but the other camera is not picking up on this on this recording. Um, I don't know how I'm going to be able to uh, manipulate that so you guys can actually see the work. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record something in to the MPC so I got it going. It's recording. Let me just see something real quick. All right, bet. So I armed the NPC, and it's recording it in. So I got that recorded into the NPC. All right, so I got the sample over into the NPC. Get it, I'm gonna convert it. I really wish I could share the screen with y'all, but for whatever reason. Screen flow is not allowing me to do so. So I got it over there. So the other thing is the cool stuff is boom. We could go back to the browser. We go to the feed. They introduce crate to us. Now we can listen to crate and see what crate has to offer. So right here it says you can't rewrite the past, but you can sample it. Dig into your grandfather's record collection for the deepest cuts, chop loop, and lace with modern effects and all royalty free. Uh, lush orchestral, orchestral pieces, Delta blues, traditional swing, jazz. Um, just a few of the tape saturated styling sampled straight from vinyl. 
All right, so we got some vinyl samples here. So they got a lot of dope stuff in that in that um in that pack. It's called Introducing the Crate. I'm definitely gonna dig into that, but I ain't gonna dig into that right now. So I had showed a video uh on my channel like three weeks ago, I believe, where I showed how to use um arcade and how to sample directly into the MPC Live. It's basically the same process. I just wanted to share with you guys that arcade is now standalone. You don't have to be connected to a DAW of choice. Mine is Studio One. The MPC, it works in the MPC 2.4 software on the computer. Um, and those are the only two DAWs that I tried it in. And I'm, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it worked in any other DAW. Um, but again, you don't have to be connected to a a, a DAW. If you don't have a DAW and you have arcade, you're now able to just use it via standalone. Um, and you could do some real cool stuff. Again, sample them into your um, your MPC Live, and then build your beat that way. The whole sent um, the user kit. I name mine sample flips. You can name yours whatever it is, but you can drag your samples from your folders on your desktop or your um your external hard drive or wherever you you store your samples or your sounds. It don't just have to be songs. It could be whatever it is. Um, and you drag them in. It now automatically detects the BPM as well as the key signature. Um, and you got a lot of cool functions that you could do. You know what I'm saying? You could you could turn on a filter. Um, you could tune it. You could pitch the speed up, turn the speed up two times, quarters this the um the the speed. You got the FX sends. Um, you know you could change the volume. You could pan it left or right. You could mess with the attack release and crossfade. Usually is attack release. Um. It's usually ADSR, attack, decay, sustain, release. So they took out decay and sustain, and they just left us with release. Um, but that's it. And then you can manipulate also the the playheads, right? You can make it half speed. You can make it one time speed. You could do the repeater. Um you could change it from repeater to playhead to repeater to resequence right this is the repeater this is the playhead this one is the resequence so the resequence is sort of kind of like an arpeggiator that's the best way i could uh explain it um and you really you could do really cool stuff like so for instance uh let's go back here take off this so which one we was doing? So you got really cool stuff that you could do. How to assign parameters. I'm a noob. <laughs> this this instance, y'all could call me a noob, right? So this is the mixer, right? You could put your effects on. Turn it on. All right, y'all making me look like a real straight noob here. Um, you could solo, right? You could solo them. Send up, send down. Uh, how do you add effects though? Okay. So you hit the plus symbol, then you add a chorus. So now you got a chorus added to here. right so you can add a limiter multi-tap like it's real cool like you know what i'm saying again you can manipulate your samples in various ways um the only thing that i i don't see that you're able to do is the macro right so 
I want to see how you could add the macros. The macro, I don't see a way how you could add add macros, but I'll figure that out. And when I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. If any of you that's viewing this right now um, know how to add or manipulate the macros, please add that in the comment section. I would love to know. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. Arcade volume one. What is it? 1.2? Yeah, it's 1.2. Um, it's available for you if you own Arcade or you subscribed to Arcade. Check your email. You should be able to, to get that information on your site or if you're brand new and you don't own arcade it is a, a cool um tool to have in your utility belt for creating music uh, but that's pretty much it man i am bk bkbangers.com please do subscribe if you are not subscribed hit the notification bell that i duly notate as the liberty bell so you become at liberty to be updated anytime i upload any new content on the platform I, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to uh, to share with you guys the NPC Live experience because for whatever reason, I'm going through technical difficulties and it's one of those things. All right, but that's pretty much it, y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I may go live when I go live. Stay tuned. Catch y'all on the flizzy. Peace.